Hello everyone and welcome to another super science video with the Mastodon Regional Library. I'm Ms. Stephanie, one of the librarians here in the Youth Services Department. And today we're going to be doing an experiment on simple machines, which we've been doing for this year. And today's simple machine is the wheel and axle. And a wheel and axle contains two parts, as you can see in this picture, the larger wheel and a smaller axle or a rod that it connects the, together. And it's always in the center of the wheel. When a wheel turns, it turns the axle that's joint to it, and in turn, when the axle turns, it turns the wheel attached to it. And an axle must be held in position so it stays in one place as it spins around. And there's a lot of things we, we see wheels. The most, probably the one you see the most is cars, but there's another thing that uses the wheel and axle, a water wheel, which converts water into energy that can be used to power things. And what's great about the water wheel is it's a, it's a renewable resource, which means that we can use it over and over again to get power. And so water wheels, this is my the example we're going to make, and it uses the, um, there's a bunch of paddles in a real life one, but we're going to use cups, and it's going to be mounted around a center wheel, and we're going to get it to turn. And so to make your water wheel, you're just going to need a few things around your place. You're going to need two paper plates, um, preferably plastic ones, You'll need a straw, or if you can't find a straw, a um, rod will, you, will work too. You'll need six small paper cups. You'll need a pen, and you'll need some tape or duck or masking tape. Both work very well. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do to start making our water wheel is to poke holes in these two paper plates right here. And what I'm doing is I'm putting them on top of each other so the holes will line up. And then take your pen. You can use a pencil, but um, I like a pen better because the point won't snap off. And so find in the middle and mark it with a little dot. And then we're going to poke a hole gently. And you... You might want to, after you marked the spot, you're going to just take it and you're going to slowly put the pin in to make the hole bigger. And you can just get, you have your straw, just make sure that it's big enough for the straw to get through. This, mine's not quite big enough yet. All right, let's try now. Yes, so we can go through that one. Excellent. All right, so let me do the same for the other paper plate. And can my straw go through this one? Why, yes it can, excellent. Okay, so then the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to attach the cups to the plate. And so you just need to get one, all right? And then what you will need to do is we're gonna tape them on there with the duct tape or masking tape, depending on what you have. And so what the easiest thing I found to do is I tore off a piece of duct tape and I'm gonna just fold it over a little bit, roll it, and then stick it on the paper plate and stick my cup. You want the opening of the cup facing out and then just press it down gently and then you'll get another piece of tape. Make sure you position your cup before you put the tape down. There we go. And then turn it. I'm going to do the same for this one. Oh, I need to position my cup. There we go. Put that there. And you, depending on how big your plate and your cups are, you're going to probably be using about six to eight. I think this one's going to be using six. Yeah, it looks like it. So we'll turn it around, get the tape. Oh, got to position it. There we go. And then, yeah, we're going to put one last one right here. Okay, great. And then just press down to make sure they stay. And you, this, is, this part is optional, but um, I would recommend it if you want a more sturdy wheel. Like you use some duct tape and just connect all of the cups together like this. And it's just another way to make sure they stay in place. And then just two more. We'll actually need three more. Right, there's one. And there's two. And then our last one. 
right here. My tape is not cooperating with me. There we go. And then once we have that, then we're going to put some tape on top of the cups and to put the second half of our wheel on. So let me put some of the tape on top of each cup. Here we go. And two more. All right. And then let's put, now let's get our straw back. And something that made this a little easier and made sure everything lined up, I went ahead and I'm gonna put my straw through. And then I'm gonna get the other half. And there we go, so you can see a little better, there we go. Okay, there we go, just having a hard time getting it to line up. I think I need to make my hole a little bigger, so let me do that real quick. I think that's what the problem is right now. Let me try again. Oh, I think I almost got it this time. There we go. And then so gently put it, and you want the t it to stick together, and then make sure that it spins like this. So, okay, so we got our water wheel. Let's test it out. All right, so it's time to test out our water wheel. So you just get to a sink or somewhere else, like a bathtub, or if you have a garden hose hookup outside, you can use those things as well. So I'm gonna turn on the water, and let's see what happens to our water wheel. All right, it looks like it's turning, good. It's doing great. Yeah, and you can just play around with it. So it's working very well. Now, what do you think will happen if we use a smaller plate and smaller cups? Do you think it's gonna go faster or slower? Well, let's find out. So let me put this one aside and let me get the other one that I made. This one has a smaller straw in it too for the axle. Whoa, it's going a little too fast there. <laughs> Hold on a second, guys. Let's get that back in. Okay, let's try again. All right, that one is going a lot faster. So I guess because it's taking longer for, it's taking less time for it, the cups to fill out. So just play around with your design and see what you come up with. And that is your very own water wheel. I hope you enjoyed making your water wheel today and I'm just gonna to end this video I'm just gonna show you a few books that I used when I was researching for it the first is the series the simple machine series by Louise Spielberry and this one is the wheels and axles and this is just a nice it just gives a nice summary of how wheels and axles work how we see them in everyday life like here's another form of renewable energy the wind turbine which also uses a wheel and axle and just of course the race car and I like it because it has information and it's like easy to read, it's easy to understand, and you can just look through and see the different ways about how wheels and axles are used. And then our other book today is from our science comic series. This is the wild weather one. And, well, and water is used in many types of weather. Like you see it used like in rain and snow, and um, most of the types of weather use it in some form. And I like it because it, start, it starts with the ocean and how the water is used there to create different types of weather. And it's, it's pretty thorough. It talks about just like the different types of the story form and the pictures are really great as well. So I think if you're interested in, in learning about weather, weather, then this is the book for you. Well, thank you so much for joining me for today's super science experiment. I hope to share more with you soon. Have a good day, bye.